never, I, I don't, if I remember correctly, never top 10 in the rankings. And that's his current, uh, never top five. It and could change. And that's, I mean, that's what his, uh, his current goal is. He's trying to break that ceiling before going into Rivals 2. Which... It's an effort to be made given how active the scene is right now. For sure. A lot more offline events there has been in, the, in a very long time. With still the ever presence of online events. Shoutouts, of course, to Cyberhex Maniac and the Rivals Recess crew, Rivals Academy series, both of them, uh, both of those very, very active. And amazing. All right, let's get it on. It's time for Denzel MSB. And I feel like this is such a traditional matchup compared oh, yeah. to everything we've seen thus far. This is base, base cast, like super base cast. Yeah. Like, what oh. they, like these are, are these the first two characters created? I know Zetter was the first, but. Maybe. I don't, I know Craig has been around for a long time. Yeah. Shoutouts to anyone who remembers back air just bubbling out instead of having like spikes on it. Also shoutouts to like four rocks in a row, we love it. I actually love how silly and effective the uh, rock play is from MSV. I'm a big fan. It's a, it's a classic. But he's this is a rock man on fire, but on something else with that follow up, getting the up air, going for it. Simple back air into up smash, up strong. Dan is. It's going to take a lot of effort yeah. from Dan, I feel, in order to actually press forward with typical Zetter pressure, just because Craig's around for a while. Craig yeah. does not really respect a lot of uh, buttons, nor the setups. Like, a lot of hit confirms just sort of aren't as efficient to go for. You just kind of have to outspace and outplay, and hey, it, random down strong will do it. Yeah, definitely outspaced, and the neutral tech down strong does hit MSB attempting to poke with down tilt. Still, I really like how Dan has m approached uh, approached Zetter more and more as of late. It's, it's a little different from how Adi does, where Adi does a lot more with the side B projectiles. Uh, Dan looks to set you on fire with a lot more back air and use uh, back air and shine primarily, and use those as a means for aggression, especially with his neutral air combo tree being so fluid. Of course, getting ledge trapped by a Crag is never where you want to be, as just. The damage is, uh, it speaks for itself. Just keep throwing rocks. Just, Just keep throwing them. I will pick it up and I will put it down. And I will pick it up and I will put it down. And then when you think I will pick it up, I will kick you in the face. And now we are at the last out for Dan. With a chance to, a, a great DI from MSB, not just in, but up and in, forcing Dan to convert into up airs instead of into a sour fair down air, which is quite a potent uh, finisher. Oh, no pop-up on the puddles there either, so it looks like things are going to slow down a tiny bit. But still, it looks like MSB just has such a certain game plan and knows what to avoid. I feel so like Dan's going to have to play very unorthodox moving forward just to f not even just find the damage. Because, like, for I'm sorry, Zerber has no problem with finding the damage. It's oh, yeah. Finding a meaningful hit confirm into your kill option is going to be so tough in this matchup. And the fact that we're starting on Harbor really isn't going to help matters. Wow. That was the yuckiest hit of back air, and MSB knew exactly what to do with it. Wow, wow, wow. It took me a moment to recognize that, but MSB knew what he had right from the get-go. Playing around these platforms. You'll air, watch this bear, and just the perfect spot. And there's nowhere to go from there but up. And up and up and up and yep, up and yep, on to yep. game two. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Of course, the classic Zetter. Stage, Zetter right? on tower. This is this is the move. This is the this is the vibe, and that oh. is the game. No, <laughs> MSP no was pillar? not vibing with it. No, not a good one. Not a good one if you're any sort of Kragman. But Zetter forward tilt is so good. Slightly just disjointed enough in order to find a solid poke, and the base knockback is crazy. Oh, that forward strong was equally as bananas. And yeah. This is a, this is an appropriate punish. Yeah. You, you just gotta sort of hold all that. Yeah. Have your wall jump, and you have your stock. <laughs> all right. Let's see how well we can keep this up, though, because fighting back. Honestly, this is as good of a catch up as you can ask for, because 38 and counting, you can build that up fairly easily, especially with all of the rock pressure that MSB has been forcing Dan to respect. Let's see. How does he manage to come back? Oh, oh gets. Great tech! That's how he's gonna make this back and make the difference maker to get back to neutral. 
You know what? If Dan didn't go down there, I don't know if MSP would have been able to come back up. I think he exhausted everything possible and would have been just shy of the ledge, so... A little bit too much. Sometimes less is more when it comes to edge guards in this game. Oh, good stall with the air dodge, though. Avoiding the down strong. Of course, he falls into another one. And this platform play is getting turned against him. Dan has found a lot of speed off these platforms, but MSV has found a lot of stocks off of them. Yup. It's just, it's the hits that matter. Oh, yeah. That's the, the tough part about playing against Crack. Hitting him isn't the problem. It's how, how do you kill him? Yeah, it's, it's the meaningful hits. Like, Dan's finding plenty of damage, but no meaningful hits to make something out of it. So we spot forward air, though. That's a hell of a meaningful hit. Probably the one of, if not the biggest buff that Zetter has received in a long time. The sweet spot of Fair being bigger turns a character that relied on comboing to strongs to close out stocks means that uh, turning it into having a reliable aerial finisher, which is just so good. Bonkers DI from MSB keeps him alive. Oh! Dude. Tower, Tower bit him in the end. Oh, the up, uh, the down B deciding not to cancel it and get back to center and uh, to get back and bypass the platform. Instead, just doing it. That's tough. Now, doing it after the air dodge, too. He was already above. He was, he was already above, but he had the rock to think about, and the rock toss hit the air dodge. Would have hit the any sort of air dodge or drift straight downward. That's a tough trap from MSB, and that's reasonably why they're sing uh, why Dan is selecting the larger stage of Frozen Fortress as opposed to going back to where we have been before. I Tower. think it's a good pick, though. I do like this stage because yeah. I feel like while you can potentially take advantage of the platforms without it being your pick, there's so much space between the platforms due to how laterally oriented the stage is that I feel like MSB is not going to be able to cash in as heavily if he manages to take stage control. And that's something big to consider because where MSB is finding reversals, he's finding either a ton of damage or a stock and total stage control. Whereas Dan's not really finding that stage control. Gets back to stage first though before MSB can, but he did refresh his resources, which means Crack can go high infinitely getting to these platforms. Dan needs to use them to close into upstrongs. That's one of uh, one of his mainstays, it feels like, from Dan, has been his ability to find upstrong out of a lot of different starters, and you need to do so on the platforms here to make certain that your lead is cemented. Because until that beetle is gone, he's always going to be a thorn in your side. Oh, gets the trade with the forward air in first, though. Ooh, the yuckiest hit of upstrong you can ask for is going to be giving Dan a second lease on life. Oh, it meets the roll, and that's oh. just it. All of that work down the drain if you are Dan. It's just so much damage, but you get to build it up one more time. Hoax. Good read with the foreigners. Almost a third. I love how MSB includes just these little jabs and amidst his pressure and amidst his uh, his combo tree. Like it'll be a dash attack, go for jab. It'll be a down tilt, look for jab one. And combine that with some tilt boosting and you've got yourself a up close demon. I was gonna say, like, it's either the jab lands and you have a combo out of it, oh, nice rock, or you have to deal with the fact that like, you get hit, you respond somehow, but a jab has very little lag on it, so it's, MSB just waits and reacts accordingly. Can't even parry it. Like, the crag jab is jab one is just so good just for five checking your opponent. Just keep them awake or pay the price dearly. Oh, but jumps into sweet spot fair. No pillar has to cancel off of its own one, but it was just too low already. Uh oh. Okay, not gonna close out the stock quite yet, but oh, we're not done. Oh yeah, we keep it keeps on coming. They don't stop coming. Whole lot of rocks out here. A whole lot of rocks. Whole lot of rocks. That rock was avoided. The, yeah, using trying to cancel the down special in order to get back to stage. That's just oh, yeah. so much coverage. But it felt like the a little bit overzealous trying to do it so early with the canceled down special because you were it's an effective free fall with uh, with how you do that after the wall jump. But Crag and MSB. They were there, throw the rock down, you have one way to recover, and that's it.
The let's play looked so well practiced from MSP. Like he's been in the situation countless times. Oh, yeah. And with a matchup like that, it's almost certain he has been in the situation thousands of times. And in the fact that his stage play was very fluid, constantly being able to keep up to speed with Zetter is not an easy feat for a character as slow as Craig, but MSP made it look effortless. Yeah, he's been playing against good Zetters across the board, good Zetters, like for a long time. I mean, mm -hmm. he's he played against full stream Zetter before, like, then that's. We're going backpack. That's now. that's an eight. Yeah, that's backpack now. <laughs> but either way, that ties up our top eight. So. For sure. And what, oh man, what a suite of qualifiers. Holy. I feel like so last well taps played. gave us a ton of really good matches as well. And this one decided, let's up the ante. Yeah. Let's keep the bar high. Let's keep the ball rolling, whether it just be good plays in three O's or intense back and forth that resorted to spaghetti scramble and smorgasbord of good gameplay. Yep. And as always, it was a pleasure bringing us into this top eight with you. An excellent time once Likewise. again. But we must bid adieu for now as we have a caster swap leading into top eight. I'm Hangman, and this is Ubel, and stay tuned for more taps.